While brown trout are among the most highly esteemed of all sport fish, they're not common ice fishing fare. On portions of the Great Lakes, however, not only is there a chance for consistent fishing for this great fish, some of them may even be giants. On this day, in fisherman editor and trout expert Matt Straw tests strategies for big browns along with Milwaukee area guide and in fisherman contributor Eric Hataja. Oh, they're tough critters. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Look how fat that thing is. Oh, that's a fat one. Let's come on, sweet. Oh. Look, Look at this fatty. There. Oh. oh, the hook came out. Look at that. Nice female brown. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Beauty. Nice job, Great Lakes Matt. Brown, look how fat that thing is. They have so much food in the Great Lakes. Yep, and that fish has still actually got a lot of eggs in it right now, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them haven't spawned yet, and we're here at the end of January. Yep. Right now, we're fishing the harbors in Milwaukee. Fish. Matt. Eric, you got one? All right. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, there she is, man. Oh, there we go. Okay. And uh, brown trout is pretty rare because season's close and people can't get on them. Yep. Here in the Great Lakes, this season's always open, isn't it? Yeah, it's always open. And like you just said, Matt, I mean, for, uh, pound for pound, lake trout, steelhead, and browns are the best yeah. fighting fish I've ever caught through the ice. Through the ice, you can't get any and better it, than these know, three. They're the big three. Yeah. Look at this girl. I mean, tough to get their head in the hole. In the shallow water, they're just fighting yeah. right. There we go. It is so tough getting their head in the hole. There we go. <laughs> Man, they're so tough, he can't even hold them still. There she goes. Man, it's pretty, you can see them for a long ways. Yeah. When they're taking off down through there. This, is, this has got to be one of the most unusual ice fishing environments I've ever fished in. You got people out strolling their dogs. We're in the slips, we're in the harbor, we're in the uh, marina. Yeah. In the yacht, yacht club. And uh, the browns will swim around in here because of, you say, the current draws them into the harbors, into the shallow water. The current and they're more all, than the food. Yep, and they're all stocked. I mean, all the harbors here along the Great Lakes, you know, there's tons of browns, except that the important thing is the current and certain structure yeah. is where these fish are congregating. And you got to find the congregation of browns to really have those great days we were talking about. And uh, the, the current that they keep going here is artificial. And they're doing that to what? Protect the docks? Because yep. there are no boats here. Yeah, they're doing it to protect the piers from all the ice eaves and stuff like that. And the browns are just sucked into that current. You know, they just think it's maybe a river or what have you. And it, and it attracts bait fish and stuff. And you find the current a lot of times, you find the fish. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> you got another one? Yeah, just dropped it back down there, man. <laughs> I saw him come up and grab it right underneath the ice. It was really, I mean, it's such a cool thing. Yeah, Whoa. look at this, coming up backwards. There we go. Got wrapped up a little bit. Another beautiful female brown trout right there. I tell you, that spawn, when things are tough like it is today, it is the best bait. You know, spawn or wax worms, just, just an awesome, awesome, you know, presentation for the fish. Now we're using fluorocarbon line. He's got a four pound leader, don't you? I've got four or six on these rods. It's very, I can't even see it, it's so <laughs> invisible. Here it is, four pound test leader because the water's clear and trout are really line shy. They can be really line shy. Four pound trialing uh, fluorocarbon line on the leader with a sw swivel up above and, and we're using a bobber as an extra strike indicator and to give them a little slack so they can take the bait a little ways before we get an indication, before we have a rod go in the hole, for instance. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to spread a, you know, a whole bunch of tip-ups or however many guys you got spread a nice spread all over a big flat. And other times, you want to concentrate, you know, what, like what we're doing right now with the bobber and the spawn, right in the current, right on the structure. Nice brown. Yeah, this is just one of the most incredible bites that. If people haven't experienced, you know, that people can come here and catch, you know, giant browns, giant steelhead, and, and pretty good numbers of them on an average trip. You're usually getting, you know, five to ten fish a day, and there's not a lot of places in the world that you can consistently catch browns and steelhead at the same time through the ice. That's why this is kind of a unique thing, and these fish just fight really hard. All right, we'll just guide her through here. There she is. 
Nice, spawned out. This looks like a C for Ellen Brown trout. Pretty average, not a big fish, but I tell you what, on the light Berkeley spinning rods, just a lot of fun. 